Hello, it's Marie here. And today's video, I want to talk about feeling stuck and getting unstuck and some powerful questions that you can ask yourself. So this is more for you if you ever find yourself, and I'm sure you will at some point, and probably you already have, where you're stuck and you just can't seem to shift the thing, right? I've definitely had this myself, where you try, you've tried and tried and tried and you say you're going to do something and then you don't, or this thing that you've really wanted to shift and change it's just sticking and maybe you've even shifted and changed other things but there's this is just sticking so it's always interesting when that happens if a client comes to me with that it's always an interesting uh, piece of the puzzle to shift through so I want to share just very quickly a few questions that you can ask yourself because these are deep powerful questions and sometimes we don't think to come at it from this angle we try and set goals or you know uh, hold ourselves accountable or map out a plan and all those great things because they have their place but then there's still like a sticking point so first question to ask yourself and you might want to write this down and really stick it somewhere and you can come back to this whenever you need is how might you be benefiting from staying stuck whatever that is to you so how might you be benefiting what are the benefits to you if you continue to stay where you are and this is where i encourage you just to you can list them out. You can just either just boom, 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 just think of them, come up with them. Imagine, come up with, oh, if I was thinking and imagining what would be the benefits, what might be the benefits that I could benefit from by not moving forwards and not getting unstuck, list them out. Or if you prefer just to free flow, you can just journal them out. But it's really interesting when you you come at it from that angle and give yourself permission to go, oh, I wonder I wonder how I could be benefiting from here. What is the payoff? Because what I know from my own stuff, constant client work, is that there's always a payoff somewhere underneath the surface that we get from not doing the things we say we're going to do or, or just staying comfortable, staying or uncomfortable, staying in one place. And what we, we kind of use this expression called secondary gain. And often there's a secondary gain to uh, being where we are, even though consciously we don't want to be here. But it's really, really valuable to be able to understand it because then you actually know where the work needs to be done if there is any. That's a great question to ask yourself. And then once you've identified, if you can't, by the way, come up with them, just imagine, just kind of be your own lawyer, right? I'm a former lawyer, so this is kind of uh, how I yeah. see it. But be your own lawyer and actually, you know, test it out. Just just come up with an argument. Come up with, well, I don't believe this about myself, but if, if I was going to benefit from staying stuck, these might be how I'm going to benefit. Because you'll come up with something and your subconscious will bring it up for you very, very well. Um, and very, very powerfully. So once you've identified some stuff, you'll have it written down and you might, you might have one, you might have two, you might have 10, <laughs> whatever comes up. Then I want to ask you and invite you to have a look. And then the next question is, okay, now I can see how I might be benefiting from keeping stuck. Is it worth it? Is, is this stuff that I'm afraid of or that I'm benefiting from somehow, is it worth the payoff? Is it worth me having this? this gain at the expense of the things that I really, really do want to create in my life or business or whatever area. Is it worth it? And this is for you, because if you find that right now, do you know what? It is worth it. I, I want to hang on to this secondary gain. I want to, I need to just stay here. Then, you know, then you can get off your own case and stop trying to force yourself into shifting when you're not ready. And maybe genuinely it is that it's something that you want to come back to. But a lot of the times, and allow that. But a lot of a lot of the times it might be that you realize as you look and you say, you know what, that fear, that thing, I'm for example, maybe one of the gains is um, you know, you don't ruffle feathers in your family, right? Or your friendship circle by by doing this thing you want to do. And when you look at it and you ask yourself, is that really worth the expense of my soul at the expense of what I came here for? And if the answer is no then you know, right? So it's a very powerful question. And then the third question off the back of that is, okay, so you've made your decision. You you can see whether it's valuable or not, worth it or not enough for you. As a result of that, what are your aligned actions now? So it could be your aligned action is, that is worth it. I'm not ready to move. I'm just going to give myself permission. My aligned action is just to remove that from my calendar and come back to it six months time, right? 
It could be that your aligned action is, okay, I'm now going to schedule in some time or take that leap, make that call, write that book, whatever it is that you want to do, right? So it will give you some aligned actions. And then you're going to move yourself forward because you've already identified the reasons as to why you know, you were gaining from not doing it in the first place. So let me know how that feels for you. Replay this if you need to write these questions down. It's something that I use a lot in my life. If I feel that stuckness, it enables you to go deep and kind of just shift yourself out of this kind of funk, this stuckness. All right. So send you lots of love. Pop in the comments below. Feel free to let me know how you feel about this, or what came up for you or whether you found it useful. And if it shifted anything amazing for you, right? Sending you lots of love. I'll talk to you soon.